Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Sophie and it's a babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. As you can see, we're at Sanctuary still, uh, but what you may not notice, well, I mean, you might have noticed a giant generator behind me and a recruitment beacon, um, but in between recordings I kind of stripped the entirety of Sanctuary of any sort of resource that you could find here. So all the cars are gone, all the trees are gone, all the broken down houses are gone, and I've added a few stores, beds, and more uh, resources that these people might need. There's even a giant purifier in the water back there, you can't really see it at the moment. Uh, and I used all those resources to uh, upgrade our suit. Uh, everything is now Mark 5, except for the helmet, which is still Mark 4. As before, there's EMP shielding on every single piece. I have carry weight capacity on my legs. There's, um, I think, fats enhancement on the helmet. And uh, a bit less risk of being addicted to chems on the torso for now. There's more fancy upgrades for that, but I lack the science to do that. But most importantly, I can look like this. Yes, I can look like an evil badass. Yes, Louise has finally found the look she was after, the X01 armor with uh, the red light. But uh, there we go. I've also added these shops, because shops actually uh, provide more happiness to the settlement. So it was at around 70 when I started, now it's at 78 and it's slowly rising. The recruitment beacon also pulls in more people, so we'll see about that later on. But most importantly, now that we're back in Sanctuary, we can actually have a little chat with Preston again. There we go, if I can flip and find him, there he is, he's uh, at the back of the house for some reason. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We yeah. we've gotten big enough that we're Ooh, yeah! It gets a Savant trigger on a quest. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. There we go, so uh, that seems like a very good plan, Preston, because the castle is exactly the next step in the story I want to take. Sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Absolutely, because this is going to be pretty much the last time we uh, are right here at Sanctuary. So let's move the entire main group of the Minutemen to uh, the castle. Because basically Sanctuary is now self-sufficient. It can care for itself. There's about six thirds dotted around the place. So it can be uh, very well defended on its own as well. No, 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 Preston. Here we go. Yeah. Let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. And that starts taking independence, so meet the Minutemen near the castle. The castle, that sounds so cool. And there you can see our giant purifier over there. This place actually generates about 45 water, purified water bottles per uh, whatever it is. And there we have our attack dog. Remember the, the one we uh, the one we recruited near Arcjet system, the one we bought? That's, he, he has his nice little house as well. Didn't, I didn't dismantle that, so that would have been a bit crude. But, as I said before, as I said at the end of the last episode, we're actually going to go to Lexington now to see if we can uh, continue our way through the railroad quest. Because uh, Sanctuary, we just needed to talk to Preston to start taking independence, but taking independence takes place on basically the other side of Boston. So uh, now that we're on this side of Boston, however, we can actually go to Lexington again. And while we're here at the Red Rocket truck stop, I might as well take dog meat with me again. Hey. Hello, dog meat. Um, let's go. Boy, it's time to go. Yeah, you don't need to be here anymore. Remember like uh, 20 episodes ago when I, when I it's not going to be 20, but uh, a long time ago when I accidentally sent him to the Red Rocket Trucks. Stop. Uh, there we go. Fix that as well. Um, I want to check. I probably can't make this a, to a supply line because there's nobody here. Maybe I'll quickly build a recruitment beacon. Problem is, I can't find any ceramic around here. Uh, there's no broken down toilets or anything around here, so I'm gonna have to wait with that. So, moving on. Yeah, I was just thinking there is another settlement close by that's actually pretty impressive in one of the electrical towers. Um, this one, and I think it's tied to a quest. 
Um, I can't have it as my settlement immediately, but there are a few people here that I can talk to um, to kick this off. So Abernathy Farm. Ah, they're sleeping in the back. Hello, Blake. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. He just jumped up. Um, I'm friendly, though. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. Okay, um, are you being careful, though? Gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Um, sort of. Yes, and no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? Uh, not, not really. What's involved, though? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor, and you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm... Be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? I mean, Blake, have you seen what I look like at the moment? Um, I hate raiders. Bastards. All of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Well, we are actually back. Minute so you know them then. You mean any Preston idea Gardens why they haven't crew? been around so much lately? Uh, well, uh, they they gave their lives. They're in sanctuary at the moment, but uh, they're not really anymore. Uh, they gave their lives. Most gave their lives to protect the Commonwealth. That's a damn shame. Those were brave men and women. If they'd been here when those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary might still be alive. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Well, definitely. Don't worry, I'll grab it. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Okay. The satellite station. Is that where I think it is? Because if it is where I think it is, I might actually pay a visit to that. I think it's that one over there. Um, It's... Not really on the way, because <laughs> the Corvega far car factory is over there, but I mean, I, I could take, make the detour. I was planning on going there eventually. Um, did I ever go there? Well, it's been marked on my map. I think we went in there, but yeah, I, I cleared that place out, so I might have missed the locket. Um, and by now, the raiders must have uh, respawned, but let's quickly go on a bit of a rampage. Oh, and by the way, we also leveled up, so I can uh, pick up another uh, perk here. Um, I could go for more ammunition in containers, because I'm starting to run out of... Hmm... I could also go for the last bit of Idiot Savant. I've never seen that, uh, how that works exactly, but it sounds cool. Um, and that would give us, yeah, the next level quicker. So there we go, let's just pick that. So, the satellite station. Uh, we've been here before. Let's start out stylishly with a sniper rifle shot to the face. And remember, this is also the home of the exploding mole rat. So, uh, gotta be careful if we hear that beeping. Uh, we, we should start shooting. Are there any more raiders here? There, there might be. I mean, there's bits of raiders down here, but that's basically it. Seems fine for now, so let's head in. And with the alien blaster in hand, we can make quick work of these guys. Wait a second. Was was there always a laser trip wire in here? I can actually disarm that. That's going to give us some nice uh, scrap as well. A bit of nice scrap. Uh, might I still have the key even to this thing? <laughs> oh, this is kind of broken. So they repopulated it with loot. But because I have the key from before, this didn't really change all that much. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's just grab everything then. Wait, the, the dog is still dead, but this is starting to get confusing. Let's just grab the locket and go. So, the corpses of the previous raiders are still here, but there are also new raiders. 
which are now violently being murdered by a guy in um, XO one armor and an alien blaster. I mean, I don't mind, but they might mind. And there's the second one. And that appears to be it. Because I went to hidden basically immediately. So I'm supposing that's it. Yeah, now, now there's this, uh, this toolbox here all of a sudden. So let's just grab all that. I mean, I can open this door again. This is weird, man. The, the loot clearly respawned, but barely any of the enemies did. So I'm kind of just rehashing a dungeon I clearly did before. And aside from like two raiders, this place is entirely empty, but with new loot. So, okay, never mind, I suppose. So, back at the lovely Abernathy farm, just a really quick jaunt back and forth. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this uh, family is quite expansive. I've got that locket back for you. So uh, there we go. That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We got a decent workshop, here. and Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. And we're gonna take him up on that immediately, cause we gonna use that workbench to store all our junk. There we go. Uh, and then I'm gonna try and build a recruitment beacon. And after a little bit of scrunching, I just got enough for a recruitment beacon and that last copper to actually connect it to. There we go, and that actually leveled us up as well. Uh, that recruitment beacon is active. And then the last thing I need to do is check out, so that's Connie, so that's Lucy. I can't, ooh, I can't make her a supply line. That is interesting. Can I make, can I make Connie a supply line? No. Can I make Blake a supply line? No. Okay, so I'm gonna have to see if there are other people that want to be a supply line for me here. Oh, wait, there's more people here working on the crops or are these... Because uh, No, that's Connie and Blake again. Um, I, I can't, I can't, wait, there's supposed to be somebody else. According to the game, there's four people here. Aha, there we go, we got a new settler because I slept for an hour. Uh, you, my good man, are going to be a... Yeah, supply line to Hangman's Alley. Yes, confirm. There we go. Thank you so much, my good man. And to better defend them, I'll leave them with two machine gun turrets as well. That gives them 16 defense, which should be more than enough. So there we go. Abernathy Farm added to our growing network of settlements. And of course, I would almost forget we leveled up. So let's just use that to solve one of my other problems I have been having. Because um, I'm running out of fusion cores. Uh, to fix that, I'm going to try and upgrade Scrounger to the next levels to find even more ammunition in containers. That also increases the chances of us finding fusion cores in random containers. So let's accept that and move on. Because I started also to uh, just gather more ammunition in general. Because I feel like if we're starting to uh, encounter like bigger problems, we uh, might need... To have more ammo. These guys are raiders. Okay. He, he's down as well. Is yeah, it's okay. So they they successfully defended it. We've been here before. Um, the diner and they clearly killed all the raiders. So I don't. Is that Wolfgang again? Because I killed Wolfgang here before. <laughs> I'm having deja vu this entire episode. So next up in our reconnection plan is the Starlight drive through or drive, yeah, the, the, the drive through theater or whatever you Americans call this, just sitting in your car watching a movie. We don't have that in Belgium, but uh, this place, I wanted to link that to my settlement group as well. But again, I need somebody to be here before I can do that. And actually, I have all the uh, ingredients to actually do that, which is cool. I'm not exactly sure if this is already connected then, because I feel like I have a lot of... Wait, I can easily check this if I just want to make a, a structure. Oh yeah, this place is already connected, so... But yeah, at least they're going to have two beds and a, a bit of water. Maybe they can provide food for themselves then. Okay, don't need to worry about that anymore then. Let's go talk to Deacon. So with the railroad mission we're gonna do today, I'm gonna try and fix two problems in one go. We're gonna try and fix the fusion core and the ammo problem in one go. Because I'm slowly running out of fusion cells as well. Um, I think I... Ooh. Hello. Um, 
There we go. There's a, a wild dog right next to that house trying to get in. I think, but I mean, I'm not going to leave that wild dog meat here, am I? Oh, what the hell? I think we've been here before. Again, because this is the Deja Vu episode. But there were two guys living here, but right now those two guys are dead and there's also a dead rat scorpion in here. At least I think it's dead. Yeah, it, it looks horrifying. But these guys... Oh, they're, they're just two raiders now, but at least I'm going to grab their ammo. I, I felt like I've been here or... This might be just a house that looks really, really similar to one of the other houses we've seen. Okay, never mind. So, let's put the alien blaster away, because right here underneath the overpass, as he promised, is Deacon in yet another outfit. Hello! Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. And that is actually really creepy, because I'm pretty sure he's actually able to do that. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Okay, so yeah, the Institute found the original, kind of similar to what happened to the Minuteman. Uh, and also in Lexington, which is uh, fitting, but uh, they had their old uh, headquarters in the Slocum Joes, which is actually really cool, but they were overrun by Institute Sins. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So what are we doing here? The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Okay, go, go on. Go on. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. Okay, so let's find this tourist. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. This part of the quest is actually really annoying, aside from the fact that Deacon actually gives Here us some really cool insight into the railroad signs. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. I mean, I didn't need the very obvious uh, explanation of what an arrow is, Deacon, but fair enough, that direction. But it is kind of unskippable, and it's basically just to head to the end, to the end of the uh, highway over here, which is a bit annoying, but there we are. So there we go, we uh, find our tourist at the end of the road, and we can have a little chat with him. There we go. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat, huh? Um, man, that took a long time. Okay, there we go, Ricky Dalton. You have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Oh, I have a goddamn Geiger counter, so railroad password. Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. I love that right. little misdirection. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Okay, give us a status update. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little Slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. Okay, so, uh, thank you. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. I love that if you're friendly to him, he kind of has that turnaround in the conversation where he's suddenly also, like, friendly and says, I hope it helps. Uh, let's talk to Deacon. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Why would he be lying? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. Uh, let's move. Let's move out. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Well, Deacon, I'm not going to wait for you, so I'm just going to jump off the highway, which might actually be problematic for dog meat, but you'll you'll be fine, right, buddy? Here we go. Boom. Don't know if the dog actually follows you doing that. 
Should probably turn around a little. Oh, wow, Deacon actually did. Oh, and there's dog meat. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was not even a problem for either of them. I love power armor, but I'm running out of fusion cores. I'm down to my last three, but here we go. The uh, escape tunnel is right over here, so let's just go in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. Can't break the code. Okay, Deacon, are you going to tell us why we're here? Because he, he started telling us that, but then he kind of stopped. Deacon, can, can you... The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Okay, um, eager to go on. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step is to override the security lockdown. Um, you, you can do that, Deacon, because I don't have a clue of how to do that. So let, let's just... Too tight. There we go. Okay, can... Deacon, can you open that up? Or is the dog in the way? Now, there he goes. There he goes. So we're going to explore the story of this place while we're going along. Because uh, for now, we kind of... I'm going to just dive right in. So as you can see, um, the railroad people over here are definitely dead. So Roger is the first one to go. And then even the turrets had to die as well. And I think even in this room, we already face Institute Sins. There we go. Uh, Institute Sins, have you ever seen... Have you ever seen an alien blaster from up close? There we go. I don't think he... Did? Okay, that Brad Roach was apparently not interested in that Institute sent. And as before, as we did at the uh, ArcJet Systems, I'm going to just grab every pistol I can carry from uh, these guys just to uh, load up on the uh, fusion cells. And then, of course, there's a cache. There we go. And there we go. We got a double shot on the first scent. And if we drop down... We can take out the second scent. Um, that's basically... I can't get past Deacon here. I want to just... Ah. There we go. Let's just share the shots around. Killing all the... Because these are basic scents. We're doing this quest quite late. So basic scents, basic weaponry. We can take all of that and we can uh, start gathering materials as much as we can. Because even these turrets have some nice stuff on them. I'm um, just going to grab everything, because we can definitely use all that in the uh, ongoing research into our amazing power suit. But, moving on. Another active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise. So there we go, we can use this terminal to turn the turrets back on. Uh, we can activate them, there we go. And that's going to enable them to start firing on the synths. But of course, the synths are a lot more powerful than the, the turrets are. Ah, he, he just ducked down there. I'm just gonna try and duck and weave a little bit. That one seems to be the most wide open. And there he goes into a pile of blue goo. That one synth is distracted. And this one... Yeah, we're just gonna do it like this. If I can get Grim Reaper Sprint. No, we don't. I'm running out of... Uh... Ah, there we go. Because the... The slow fire rate, not not the slow fire rate, the, the slow projectile speed of the uh, the alien blaster kind of makes it hard to aim in uh, real time. But there we go, we managed to kill those three synths. And then we dive into another tube, heading deeper and deeper in the sewers. And eventually we're gonna, there we go, end up in a section of the tube that has been removed, clearly, to serve, so the sewers could actually serve as an escape, escape tunnel. And that brings us right into the Slocum Joe's facility. Um, let's unlock this terminal ourselves this time. Because Louise has a bit of hacking smarts. And there we go. Got the boss. The password was there. That's a bit weird. But there we go. Open up the door. And then we're going to go into a uh, giant battle with like a, a bunch of synths at one, one go. So uh, let's just start firing in one go. Um, yeah, that one as well. And we got our uh, action points back from that, so let's just keep firing away. That guy's gonna need some more shots, probably. 
Because those were 50-50 shots. There we go. Our third fusion core is about to go. Um, but maybe I can manually fire on this guy. There we go. And then I heard some people on the left here as well. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. We're entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab, a place that never officially existed. It's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. So there we go. Um, if you check around in the terminals, you can actually find a backstory about this place. This was a military facility, a secret service kind of facility. Uh, I think it's one of the intelligence agencies. Um, that was actually preparing for the war and you can find out a few things about what happened right before the nukes were set, set off but to kind of get get one of our uh, checklists one of our things on the checklist on we get another fusion core fusion cores are nice and it's the little touch of the touches that actually make this place pretty cool because as you can see there were beds set up here and a cooking station. Beds you might find in a military facility, but then again, I don't think they would put a cooking station underground. Not a primitive one like this one, at least. Aha, and I can even sleep, so I'm gonna sleep the full eight hours now that I can. How about a full night's sleep in this uh, underground secret facility? We might as well move it's on. Because so there's like, I, I'm amazed that the game actually let me uh, sleep in here. Because this place is still filled with uh, synths at the other side of this door. Um, so let's open that up now, shall we? But first and foremost, US Covert Operations Manual on the desk, which permanently makes ourselves more difficult to detect while sneaking. And there we go, we open up the door, but uh, there's a bunch of laser trip wires behind the door. We can Disarm them one by one, giving us fiber optics with every disarm and crystals, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then we can start blasting at a couple more synths. And the alien blaster still takes good care of these guys. They're also definitely not leveled up uh, versions of the synths. Um, we're still in danger. Probably from behind us. No, that's just Deacon. That's, that's all, all, all fine and good. Let's uh, grab the office fan and, of course, the telephones, because those those contain valuable, valuable resources. Yes, I am attempting an ambush, but you're going to have to give me a second, because I want to open up this door in style. Hi, yes, there I am. I also shoot blue. That came out wrong. There's a cryo mine on the floor there. Going to have to be careful. Um, I think this is the way forward, so I'm going to just quickly, as we do in video games, check out the other side of the hallway first, because I think those are the toilets. Are there traps here as well? There's at least a synth in there. There we go. At least we killed that guy in one fell swoop. No more mines. It looks like somebody's... Yeah, there's a skeleton uh, shitting there. She was probably high when she died, because there was a bit, a bit of jet right next to her corpse. And I know it's a, a woman because she was wearing a dress, although it might, of course, have been a man as well. I'm definitely not judging if you're into something like that. So, back into the main hallway. Uh, there's one more door over there, and as you can see. Uh, one of the senses already... But oh, hi! Holy crap. Um, that, was, that was terrifying. Yeah, let's just do it like this. Okay, there we go. Just blasted the hell out of all of them. I'm just gonna just gonna keep using the uh, the alien blast until I run out. Um, wait, did one of the sins actually pick up the other sins weapon? That was interesting. Um, let's see, because this is the place where we can actually find the final piece, the uh, the prototype that we're here for. There we go. So the giant vault door opens up. With a very fancy anime animation, I might add. It's one of the, the cooler uh, doors in the game, I would think. But this is also something for us. So as you can see, the loot is pretty low level. Take this. Yeah, take uh, Okay, so there we get the deliverer. And this thing is cool. So it's uh, it works on 10mm rounds. Uh, it has improved VATS hit chance. And it consumes 25% less action points. So it can fire a hell of a lot. And I can still upgrade it if I want to. I'm going to take this thing. Because this thing is uh, this thing is the bomb. 
And the side room, we're also gonna grab the hazmat suit. But yeah, the deliverer, the deliverer is a really, really cool, unique weapon. Uh, I'm actually gonna put it right next to Kellogg's pistol. Um, and it's it's silenced. Uh, it's really, really small, but I'll show you in a second how effective this thing is in VATS, which actually suits my playstyle perfectly. But first, Tommy Whispers is in here, his corpse at least, and he was the last line of defense for the Carrington prototype. I don't think there's much else in here. These things look like mines, but they're not. Uh, and there we go, Carrington's prototype. Weighs five, it's one of the only quest items that actually weighs something. And two stealth boys, which is also really cool. Um, I could take the mini nuke, but I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. So let's just leave that over there. And then we can try and head out. But of course, this being a video game, we're going to be ambushed the moment we try and step outside. And the research terminal in the last side room of this area also gives you a bit more information about Pam. A sort of uh, robot that was responsible for predicting the outcome of the war. She didn't do a really good job, but... Uh, yeah, we're gonna bump into her a bit later on. And then when we move towards the exit, don't be too enthusiastic, because of course there's cryo mines all over the place. I think there might even be one, yeah, up the top of the stairs. So we really need to be careful, because otherwise we might be frozen to death. And I think there's one more, no? Hello? Yeah, there we are. Uh, so yeah, um, as you can see in the bottom right, I can keep shooting this scent all day if I want to. It's not necessary, because this thing is silenced, so I can uh, actually get some really nice stealth attacks in with this. Also, because it's so quick to fire in VATS, I can easily use it to grind criticals. Or just use it to perform a critical, because that's... Yeah, this thing is more powerful than you think. It's really small, and it looks ridiculous in the hands of somebody in power armor, but uh, it is one of the cooler weapons in the game, in my mind. And then after powering up the elevator, we can actually go back up. And that's gonna lead us into the Slocum Chose. But of course, we know from the uh, from Ricky that there is a lot of... There's a lot of uh, synths at the top floor. But as you can see, the uh, entrance is hidden in the basement of the Slocum Chose behind the bookcase. But, as we know, a lot of synths above us. Let's just loot the room and get upstairs. And there we go, we're straight into caution because of course we're not that stealthy. Oh hi, 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 um, in this, uh, this power armor. Ooh, um, hi, um, I just went into his inventory there. While I wanted to reload, ow, you dick. Why? Uh, there's one right in front of me. Let's just shoot him in the head. And then let's shoot this guy in the head with a single critical. I think there's a turret firing at dog meat. Dog meat, please, come. There we go. That, ooh, wow. Dog meat looks not good. Game, can you kind of fade away with the the bullet wounds? That's that's really sad. There's another turret over there, and I think there's another turret to my right as well. There we go. But with the delivery, that's not a problem at all. And the benefit for of the another benefit of the delivery, I should say, is that it's very very light. And I think the mines went off because of somebody. So there were a lot of mines outside, I was going to grab those, but apparently somebody triggered them already. Um, the benefit of the delivery on this difficulty is that it doesn't weigh anything, uh, he says, while he's immediately over encumbered because he's wearing, he's carrying like 15 um, Institute pistols probably, so um, an automatic one. There we go, I don't, I don't need all that, that's, that's a bit of overkill. Who the hell just came in here? Deacon! De Deacon, where the hell did you come from, buddy? We got what we came for. Yeah. Split up and meet back in the catacombs. I mean, if you wanted to go with the tactic of you running through all the mines, we could have done that from the start. Could have saved me some trouble. So, hello, Deacon. Um, good goodbye, I suppose. Now, good work, buddy. The best. See you soon. Bye, Deacon. It seems like your stomach is hurting quite a bit from all those uh, mines you took to the face, but uh, luckily you're immortal. Um, it might seem safe. But, yeah, Deacon, stop running into mines, buddy. 
Uh, I think there was another mine. Yeah, there's a mine over there, mine over there. Okay, so that's probably the first mine I should, <laughs> I should grab. He just went for it, didn't he? There we go. That's all the mines taken care of. Um, I only took that amount, 30% of my health bar in damage in that entire fight. That was actually pretty good. And now we're at this red rocket station, which if I'm not mistaken, I think also has a workbench, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It does not. I have been once more mistaken. Um, but we can check out whether we can... No, I can't because I need to exit the power orb if I want to do that. So I kind of have a few options here if I wanted to move on. Um, and I think I'm going to... They're firing at Deacon, aren't they? Ah, <laughs> oh, Deacon, you poor bastard. Um, I'm going to try and make my way back to an earlier settlement just to wrap this up. I missed another fragment, there we go. <laughs> Almost stepped on that one, but luckily I was still tapping VAT. I'm gonna quickly go to the Starlight Drive-In and uh, we'll take a little nap over there. And we already have a settler in this place. Probably um, should get rid of the radioactive barrels in the middle. Can I actually get rid of the radioactive barrels in the middle? I should probably do that as quickly as possible. Where are there more? Let's get rid of the car so I can move around a bit quicker. And there we go. It's so clean that the settler even decided to take a dip in it, which is interesting. Um, hi. Um, do, you really want to talk to me, don't you? Hi. Hi. Welcome to our little settlement here. It's one of the only settlements that doesn't provide food, so I hope you don't mind starving like I am at the moment. By the way, just in case you're wondering how much ammo that got us, we're over 1,000 rounds again for the fusion cells. So uh, Righteous Dorothy will be able to keep shooting until we uh, run out of uses for it. So uh, this seems to be perfect. Our uh, objective nicely completed, aside from the fact that we're still only at three fusion cores. But we might be able to do something about that really soon. Let's craft, yeah, let's cook some meat. Holy crap, there was a bottle cap mine right next to the bed all of a sudden. Why the hell did that spawn there? I know I've slept here before. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this as a bit of a, a stopping point. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode because uh, yeah, we've uh, we've done quite a lot. We've actually progressed both the Minutemen and the Railroad quest, connected uh, more than one of our settlements back together and actually added another one to our network as well. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be continuing on this route next time. We're gonna continue the Minuteman and probably also the Railroad quest next time. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 Survival and hope to see you in the next. Thank you enormously for watching and goodbye.